How to install the Pixel 6 Pro ROM on your POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Pixel 6 Pro ROM on your POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. Then the other thing is you need Xiaomi EU installed on your POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40. Until and unless you are coming from one of the other ports by this developer. Now, how do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? How do you install Xiaomi EU stable on your POCO F3 Mi 11X or the Redmi K40? Videos for those can be found in the description of the video. Next thing you need is access to a computer and no, you cannot do this without having access to a computer. Next up, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device next up what are the files which you need now you need two files for starters you need the firmware file for the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and this is the firmware file which has been provided by the developer of this port and then the other file which you need is the rom itself so this here is the pixel 6 pro rom for the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 so here it is i do have the poco f3 which right now is running miui 12.5.4 but this is xiaomi eu so Installing Xiaomi EU is a prerequisite for this specific build of Android 12 or the POCO F3, the Redmi K40 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X, whatever you want to call it. Next up, we will go into settings and then you can go into password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back, go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery which is twrp so for starters we are going to turn off our device and then once the device is turned off press and hold power and volume up together power and volume up together once you see the logo let go of the power button keep volume up pressed and this should make sure that we boot into our recovery which is twrp now once we have booted into twrp we are going to go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have placed the firmware file if you downloaded the file on your phone directly it will be in the download folder all you need to do is select the file and you need not check inject twrp after install because flashing the firmware has nothing to do with your twrp getting replaced even if you check it won't make a difference or if you are running the twrp by say nebrasi then also it shouldn't make a difference but all you need to do here is swipe to confirm flash so there it is you can see that the firmware was flashed without any issues we are going to tap on the home button go into reboot and here we are going to say power off the device now once the device is powered off we are going to press and hold volume down and power button press and hold volume down and power button till you see this fast boot bunny now once you have booted into your fast boot mode you need to connect your phone to the computer using a usb cable and i do recommend that you use the cable provided by show me so here we are on the computer and you need this file this is a 7z file and this here is the pixel 6 pro port for the xiaomi mi 11x the redmi k40 or the poco f3 all you need to do is right click say open with winrar and once you are in winrar you have to select extract to and then select ok over here and again you are free to use any unarchived software which you want to once you have extracted this you will have a folder with the same name 
and if i go inside this folder here and i have my sub folders which are like linux tools win tools and all the files which you need now since we are running windows let us go into win tools and then we are going to select the address bar make sure everything is highlighted here and type in cmd and press the enter key now what we are doing over here is we are checking whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not and this also ensures that you have the drivers installed so the command to check whether your device is being detected in fast boot mode or not is fast boot space devices and once you have entered the command go ahead and press the enter key and there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode this means i do not have any issues with the drivers or anything like that if your device is not detected means you have issues with the drivers and i do recommend that you go ahead and install the drivers the video is linked in the description of this video next thing we need to do is we'll go back to the main folder where you have your win tools your linux tools folder and all the other files which you need now here in installation is as easy as double clicking the files so if you are already running say the pixel 5 port from the same developer then you can use your flasher windows update batch file and if you are doing a first time flash like i am doing right now then you have to use the force wipe one and similarly you have the files available for linux and mac as well so all we are going to do over here is we are going to double click on this force wipe file now do note that the device is going to reboot multiple times during the installation process so do not panic so let us go ahead double click on this file and let the process start so there it is vb meta was flashed without any issues device rebooted and now it is sending the other files so we did get an error about the cannot load VB meta that can be ignored and now you're getting the message about invalid sparse file format at header magic again no need to panic everything is absolutely fine just be patient it might be stuck here for a few minutes all you have to do is to be patient nothing is wrong everything is going absolutely fine so far and again if you have a laptop make sure it is connected to the charger don't want your laptop to be turning off while you are installing a rom if you have settings like turn off the hard disk after five minutes of inactivity all those things make sure all of those are turned off and there it is while i was telling you about the laptop thing we are at sending super one off seven so again the message of invalid sparse file format at header magic can be ignored so there it is we have successfully flashed super 7 of 7 now it is telling us finished total time whatever it took now at this point again i repeat do not disconnect your device it is still doing and flashing some things so again once you get the finished message after flashing all the partitions for super.img it says finished do not disconnect your device the process is still going on the flashing is still in progress so there it is you can see that the process has finally finished and the device did reboot one more time and now you can see that it is telling us press any key to exit on our computer so at this point we are done with the process on the computer and for now we are at the google boot animation on our device and at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer another super important thing to note over here is that what if you do not reach the google boot animation and you are stuck over here we got the internal error select ok over here speech services crashed close the application so we were on the fact whether if you do not get the google boot animation then what do you do in that case all you need to do is again turn off your device or while you are in the boot loop press and hold power and volume up together again press and hold power and volume up together and once you see the poco logo or the me logo let go of the power button keep volume up pressed now you're going to boot into twrp recovery and once you've booted into twrp recovery you will go into wipe format data type in yes and then reboot and then select system now me personally i did not have the issue of getting stuck at the google logo so i'm not going to perform a format data but just in case you get stuck perform a format data from twrp recovery and now let me skip the initial setup real quick so here it is we have booted into the rom itself let us go into about phone you can see this here is showing up as the pixel 6 
Pro. And here, and if I tap on the Android version, bam, here it is. Android version, of course, is 12. The security patch is from September 2021. The kernel they're using is Disrupt kernel and there it is peeps that is how you install the pixel 6 pro rom on your poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you